Hey folks, I'm Surveying Glory, and welcome to part 52 of my playthrough as Marmorus in Crusader Kings 2. So, at the end of the last part, my liege decided to revoke my home territory of Marmorus and also Berig from me. And then the swine had the audacity to transfer the vassalage of these two guys to me. So, what I am planning to do now Let's just revoke the titles and return them to myself. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Give me my land, thank you. And that means I can now raise 1200 troops. So we'll give it a bit of time to happen. And. Oh yeah, and I decided to kill my liege because he took my land from me. <laughs> okay, I need to wait for the plot to be successful and then get our land back. Need a court chaplain. <sighs> Let's invite the holy man to court. Only costs piety. He's not very good. Keep him around though. But we will see if we can invite a better Yeah. Um better option. Success. Good. Leech his carriage flying over a cliff. Where is this person I invited to court? Is he coming? Good. Uh, point councillor, court chaplain. And. Oh, Berry belongs to me. I kept it. Good stuff. So. Still only have 988 troops available from at max. He has. 708. I'm sat next to Dristar at dinner when he f tells about a family of pagans. One of themselves to blame. Move my retinue into Berig now. I don't know what you're doing in here. Didn't think for a second you'd be improving it. It's the problem with having improved the region so much. Must be careful. So Marmorus is um, 14, 14, 14. My liege, 13, 15, 15. In his capital province. Mind you, well. Yeah, we are pretty good. Pretty well off. And Berig, 977, is not too far behind either. Who's Malish now? This young man. Both you're not going to get in, uh, up to any mischief. Like revoking my titles. Okay. Um, courtier of mine, really. For duty. I'll do. So, 22. Okay. Just hang on. Count Melos has been clutching his stomach and made frequent visits to the privy, suffering from dysentery. Where's my court physician gone now? Jeez, oh. Um, stop pestering me. But seriously, where are these people disappearing to? Oh, he's fantastic.
Uh -huh. I was about to do that. But I suppose I don't have that duchy. You guys come down here. No, wait a minute. No, stay where you are. Too many of them in there. Not that we're at war. County of Pest. Duchy of Pest. Claim would be accepted now. Ask Pope to grant you a claim the title. Cost 183 piety. I'm happy with that. Don't you have pest? Thank you, your pupness. So, don't you have pest? Excellent. Anyway, before I bother with Pest, I need to sort out Marmorous. Get in there, it's about a thousand troops compared with 722. I was bored until I remembered the prisoner in my dungeons. I had so many deliciously cruel ideas as what to do to the prisoner, but I finally narrowed the ideas down to two. Slowly reduce the food rationings, or release rats in the prisoner's cell. And cruel. I think reducing food rations is the more cruel thing to do. But then... 25% chance of being to feel unwell. He gets minus C3 health. Oh no, he gets... Uh, okay, yeah, let's reduce the food rations. And my wife's pregnant again. I think probably time now to. Well, let's. We can, mar we can march a retinue in here. I cannot be the father. Am I paranoid? I'm depressed and paranoid. So, hire someone to find out. Revoke his title. What? It's like you guys in the slightest. So I'm going to be a tyrant. Council's discontent and I don't care. Okay, so we're at war. Let's raise up the men. And march them in here. Not found out anything at all suspicious about her pregnancy, but I will hire more spies, just to be sure. Uh, Foot stop anything. I guess the child is mine, after all, and I can't seize this place down. Uh, I can't even. Well, what I can do, I suppose, it's a bit rubbish having to spend the money for this, but never mind. I don't want to have to spend 150, but I don't think we've got any option. Down there as quickly as possible. Um, I am awestruck when I see what Marshal Vladimir the Eighth and Adrian has brought back from their hunt. A trophy from a massive bear. I thought they were hunting for a rabbit. Vladimir the Eighth ensures me that he and Adrian tracked the bear together and that he absolutely did not lose track of where Adrian was, only arriving after the bear was already dead. Okay. Wait till the 
Mertz get into Marmaris and then we will have a look at our son and see how he is looking now. 13, 18, 6, 12, 6. What a guy. I'm going to get some land and give it to you. Do I still have my siege leader in here? Where is my siege leader? There he is. Okay. Last I have, a, uh, I have rabies. Very well. Follow your instructions. Spencer spent, oh, Sensor spent many hours studying the stars before informing you that in order for your strength to return, you had to fast for the better half of a fortnight. Gain one health. We'll lose a bit of weight at the same time. You are 11. I have the malaise, or I have fatigue actually. And now I have a daughter. You will study pride. Seek treatment for illness. Um, yeah, go ahead. Court physicians scale 28, I think. It's only the flu, but never mind. We'll seek treatment anyway. Uh, but <laughs> as long as you know what you're doing. 28. I don't think I've ever seen a court physician with a learning skill that high. Go for it. My life is in your hands. Censored gave me a draft which tasted most peculiar. It made me feel numb and my eyelids started dripping. I apologise, my lord, but you do not want to be awake for this next part, he said. Panic hit you and you tried to get up from the operating table, but your limbs would not obey. You cut my bits off because I had the flu. Dear God. Right, victory there. Uh, siege down, continue. I can surely dismiss the mercs now. There. Almost done. Adrian has reached age 12. Not great, but can live with him being a heretic. Focus. I suppose we should really focus on stewardship. Okay. Offer peace. There we go. I win. And we revoke your title. People aren't happy, but they care not. And we shall release you from prison. Because I am just. Um, I thought I told you to stand down, must have missed. Right, so what do I lack? Um, no, that's fine. <clears throat> so, still have that. Go away, spiz. Berig. Yeah, Marmaris. Because I did have sex as well, but I gave that away. I still got a feeling that I'm short somewhere. Never mind. <clears throat> I'll stick with four for now. Peace offer that I'm not interested in. I'll vote with you on the council I will accept. And yeah, let's improve our tech. Go for, uh, go for cavalry.
Can place it. Mm. Popular customs, I think. And we can get castle infrastructure up to th level three. Let's do that. And we can also I suppose get town infrastructure up to two. So we leave some up here as well. And that okay. Long day, and it, was some real, it is with some relief that you retreat to your bedchamber for the night. Your bed is warm, and just as you're about to drift off to sleep, you hear a strange hissing sound. Something cold and scaly brushes past your naked leg, and as you sit up, you feel a sharp pain in your upper thigh. Pulling back the covers reveals a vicious hissing snake. You stumble out of bed, but already your sight grows dimmer as the intense pain spreads throughout your body. I die. Okay, Duke Adrian the third age, twelve years old. Okay. So I'm not too upset by that. I just wonder who did it. Yeah, stewardship's coming on well here as well. Uh okay, yep. Adrian of Ungvar. Now we've lost Gamer. That's what's happened. Who is this? Right. Okay, something we need to think about there then. The other thing is down here. I need to... No! Missed my chance. Hmm. That claim in the duchy didn't transfer. Do my dynasty has a claim either. Okay, nominate a successor. Who do we want to nominate? I think Vladimir the Eighth. He's ambitious. I think he might be the one that killed me. Well, there was intrigue zero, so I don't think it necessarily was. Also, though he's. Slavic. So we'll maybe go with. Ah, go with my brother. Why not? So fine. Courts. We need Chancellor. Oh, that's fine. You can go there. You can stay as a marshal. Yep, you can be the steward. Absolutely. And you've got an honorary title already. You could take one, Master of the Hunt. You could be a cupbearer. You regulate me enough. Okay. My marshal has put forward a plan for experimentation with new military technology, inspired by a supposedly brilliant inventor and engineer that has recently befriended. All that is needed is a little funding. 30 gold, we can afford it, go ahead. Hopefully we'll get 500 military points out of this. Oh good, interrupted feudalism. I have always been very beloved, though until now I have never thought much about it. Wherever I go, others my age admire me with the obvious infatuation. I am constantly showered with compliments and gifts, like I was a king. I am the centre of attention whenever I go, and I like it. 
Yes, perhaps one of the girls will win my heart one day. Any of them geniuses? Hang on. With that in mind. I don't think we're going to get any powerful political marriages. So we will settle for the genes. Right. I want Gamer back. Where is my Chancellor? I'm getting there. I received a report from the outcome of the military experiments that your marshal asked you to sponsor. Apparently, a large steel-plated chariot was constructed, propelled by ten men inside, pulling it forward, directed by a commander peering out from a revolving turret mounted on top. This vehicle also had several ballistas firing through arrow slits. Unfortunately, its weight caused a wooden bridge to collapse when crossing, and the invention was lost in the river, also killing the engineer. The marshal himself barely escaped with his life. I lose ten military technology points. Excellent. So this is much more like it. 3,000 troops available. Hmm. My liege is Catholic. Let's convert to his Catholic faith. Lose 500 prestige, I only have 18. Gain 250, no, I have 188 prestige. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try and stay on his good side. I wonder if it was him that killed my father. Could have been. Uh, retaliation. Do I want to improve here? I can't afford to improve there. I would Berig. Actually thinking about it. How about hospital? Okay. Save up maybe for the next sick house eventually. To the great Duke Adrian III, blessings upon you and your house. We request that you honour your obligation and answer this call to arms against Khan Tiradin II of Bulgaria. You are... Um... No, I'm going to stay loyal to the Khan. I shall decline. I've been sent along with priest Apskich to Jaroslav in order to learn more about the Catholic faith. He tells me to pay, pray in front of the candlelit altar, eyes closed. Suddenly a vision of God appears in front of my eyes. I was told such wondrous things before Apskich interrupted me. I had apparently been shouting passages from the Bible. I was told that I too would become a god one day. Inspiring leader promised godhood. Okay, plus four marshal, plus two diplomacy. Plus two diplomacy, plus four learning. I think we're going to go for the marshal. Make that idea. And I think with that, I'm going to put a break in here. Uh, and see what we do, whether we offer to join this war. But for now, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. And I hope to see you again next time. Cheers!